19 years old and I'm taking a Bachelor of Science in Aviation Tourism, major in Travel Management at Philippine State College of Aeronautics. I'm in my first year and the first semester is about to end. So yeah, here's to me. <laughs> oh really? That's nice. So Abby, tell us why of all the schools in the Philippines, why did you choose Pilska? Actually, before the school releases their list of students who got accepted, my family was in the middle of you know, a crisis in terms of finances and then my plan on going to college was slowly fading like it wasn't being prioritized because I have set my mind like I have reminded myself that college will be a pain in the pocket and that I must work first considering the fact that my family is in the middle of something. But Pilska doesn't have tuition fees, right? Yes, that's why I'm so lucky to be studying there. So congratulations though. Thank you so much, Sir Rafi. Uh, you mentioned that you're currently taking aviation tourism. Yes. Wait, before anything else, uh, why aviation? Like, I've seen posts that you're good in music, right? Uh, why are you pursuing the aviation industry or aviation related program instead of music? Well, music is my other half, but I also strongly believe that the aviation industry has a special place in my heart. And I also believe that when the time comes, the aviation industry will open its doors for me. And I can't help but to feel the excitement of that, of achieving that dream of mine. Oh, so you took up aviation tourism in a government-funded college, which is Pilska. So you can reach your dreams while saving? Um, I guess helping my parents will be the right term for saving. But yes, indeed. You are very kind, Miss Abby. I can see that your parents are very proud of you. Thank you, Sir Rafi, and I will never stop making them proud. That's the spirit, Miss Abby. How about you tell us why you choose aviation tourism among the other courses offered in Pilska? You know, Sir Rafi, my mom had this dream of hers when she was young. She wanted to be a flight attendant because back in their day, she was tall, beautiful. She knows a lot of stuff, but she got pregnant. She didn't have the time and money to pursue her dreams because all her errands were about us, her children. So she supports me and my brother while supporting herself too, despite the fact that every day there's a possibility that we will have an insufficient amount of food and a shortage of money. So what I like about Filska is that they offer programs with free tuition and most of all they offer my dream course program which is aviation tourism. So even though the airlines don't require flight attendants to have a specific course, I still chose aviation tourism because of the fact that it will prepare me for the industry and for the dream job that I have been longing for. Mm, so um, let's see that you're graduated already which you both look forward to. Uh, what are your plans after graduating? Are you, are you going to apply for the industry right after? Yes, hopefully when the pandemic is resolved, which I think will be possible after my graduation, I will apply for the position of the cabin crew. And but, uh, what if the pandemic hasn't been resolved yet? I mean, I'm just stating a possibility because who knows, right? It has been two years and the Philippines is still stuck in this situation. Will you still apply for that position, Miss Abby? Yes, sir. I still believe that at the end of this pandemic, or the end of this pandemic is near because as we all know, the 2022 elections are a couple of months away. So if you are to elect a president who is consistent with their actions in serving the country and its countrymen, like if that person has a pure heart, especially for the poor, and you know, has concrete platforms and plans on solving the issues we face now, maybe maybe the philippines were, will rise again from there we can see that once the philippines has recovered many opportunities will come through once again and i will grab that chance no matter what agree miss abby we really must have this sense of responsibility as filipinos because by now 
we should be eyeing someone who is fit for the presidential position that will spark hope for the rise of the Philippines. Indeed, Sir Rafi. You know, since its pandemic, I think most of the industries were really affected and a lot of the Filipinos were forced to terminate including flight attendants of Philippine Airlines and Cebu Pacific. Of course, I am sad for them because they need to rest their wings for a moment to follow the protocols and such. And I also can't help but to feel proud of them because they've been, you know, they've been part of the history of the aviation industry during the COVID-19 outbreak. Like despite the circumstances the industry has faced and is currently facing, they still fight for this goal which is to transfer people safely from one place to another. Speaking of which, are there any reflections or learnings you have learned from one of your subjects entitled Fundamentals of Aviation? Um, yes, actually what I'm saying a while ago is what I have learned from that subject. Airplanes have played a vital role in these trying times and it can be seen on news, television, and even on the internet. Do you see the, the flight attendants wearing PPEs? Those PPEs serve their purpose and that is to make our flight attendants safe from the different um, people that they encounter every day. And mind you Sir Rafi, this flight attendants were assisting um, the people who got stuck in a place after lockdown or they needed to be evacuated and many more. Or to put it simply, the whole crew of the plane or the whole aviation industry has been put to be one of the frontliners that we have right now. Amazing, right? Our airliners are ready to take their beloved passengers to their homes safely. Our planes are ready to, to transport the medical stuff that's needed for this outbreak. Our pilots and beloved flight attendants as well as the whole staff of an airplane or airline is ready to help in these trying times, which is one of the many things I've learned in this subject. That the aircraft has many usages in this world. It doesn't only limit to recreational flying or military activities, but it can also be used for emergency purposes. And I think it has done an amazing work or job for the people because not only do they help and be prepared in times of emergencies, but they also inspire people to be one of them someday. You know, Sir Ravi, um, the very reason why I am pursuing this career is to help people, aid them immediately by helping the airline transport um, people safely. Flight attendants aren't here to be pretty. They are here because their purpose is to serve people. And I like, I love helping out, serving people, and making someone feel safe when they're with me. That is a very good reflection, Miss Abby. I love hearing those words come out from an inspired, aspiring flight attendant like you. I hope there are a lot of teenagers who wanted to become flight attendants, not just because of the perks, but because of the desire to serve the people. Thank you for having me here, Sir Abby. It's really an honor.